shocking. Look at that. What's going on there? Bend it a little bit, little bit of bend. And it just drops like that. Weave gang. Weave gang. Hello everyone, Connor Whitmore here again with another video for you on the Naughty Step channel. And it's time to give you five more collaborations I would love to see in the bass music world. Pairings we're not likely to see anytime soon, but which I still think would be incredible in terms of a combination of approaches. Collaborating is probably the thing that consumers of bass music demand most. A meme has even been made out of the whole collabro thing, which I think says it all. A lot of people also long for producers to work together just for the sake of it, when it probably wouldn't work, a lot of them in recent times certainly haven't. But the five potential pairings I'm about to give here are thought through, logical, and I say they're unlikely to happen, but realistically, they could. Gonna give a few reasons for each why I think they would be a great potential collab, and say why I think they would and wouldn't happen. And you know, here's hoping it triggers a couple of them and they actually go ahead and do it, because in my opinion, all of them here really, really would work. From the last one, part one, Bad Clark and Company released a tune and Drezzo and Rez are working on a collab at the moment, so two out of five, not bad. But yeah, five more potential dark electronic music pairings. Let's go. And first off here, we have two duos who dabble in the very extraterrestrial, outerworldly form of hybrid trap, mixed with experimental bass and freeform as well. And as a combination, I just think it would be absolutely insane. 80 Aliens and Shanghai Doom. The two best acts at the moment in that style, that crossover style, at creating a world and providing an image, uh, making their music seem very real and alive when, as I mentioned, it is quite extraterrestrial and outerworldly. The production from both as well is really sharp, aware in terms of the timing and spacing of everything. The former, AT Aliens, a bit more cutting in their production, and the latter, Shanghai Doom, a bit fuller, a bit more plump and rich. Both also have very high definition design, vocal samples on point, and I just think their styles would complement each other so, so well, would make the ultimate futuristic trap banger, and just thinking about the arrangement of it alone, is really, really getting me going, and yeah, it would just be fucking great. Will happen because they are aware of each other and what they each do musically. Shanghai Doom have remixed AT Aliens before officially, and they're in the same sort of sphere of bass music at the moment, but won't happen because AT Aliens are kinda racing away at the moment and likely have their release schedule locked in for the next year or so, collaborating with a lot of big producers, so could be a while before this one materialized in any way. The next one would actually be a three-way, an already renowned couple and someone who I think could really add to that, you know, bring something similar but very new to the table, Bro Safari and UFO and Former. This would be the most simultaneously devilish, warm and uncomfortable collaboration or tune ever in the best way possible. When you think of the Bro Safari and UFO album Clockwork and Former of the last couple of years or so, his Whitefield EP, his collaboration with Noisier, for example, Cleansing, it just would be amazing how they would strike a balance between the more immediate and distant types of production, uh, Bro Safari and UFO being more uh, immediate for me and former more distant, would have a real sense of story, atmosphere, would be weird and alienating yet alluring and enchanting. Yeah, just thinking about it makes me really, really want to hear it. I would love it. Will happen because if they became aware of each other, if they're not already, and how well it could work, I think they'd be silly not to. And won't happen because they are just from completely different spheres of bass music right now, and that alone makes it quite unlikely. Following that, quite the big one, the ultimate wet dream for lovers of dubstep music, in its most colourful, vibrant, electrifying form, Virtual Riot and Temanite. Dubstep aside for the moment, I almost feel like the melodic prowess here would be too much to handle. I mean, just think 
of all the musical knowledge here. I can't imagine it wouldn't be the most beautiful organic blend constantly one-upping itself. The chemistry would be off the chain. Not only that, but the scope of their music as well. Virtual Riot on the production side of it. I think his is a bit more rounded, full and rich. And Temenai on the instrumentation side of it. Uh, just imagine him bringing in the saxophone, guitar, piano, it would just be incredible. And that's before I get onto the dubstep, the different kinds we get from them individually. Yeah, it just it speaks for itself, quite frankly. It will happen because it just has to at some point. You can't just not bring these two minds together. It just has to happen. Too good an opportunity to turn down. Mad, mad potential. And won't happen because Temenai isn't really immersed in that world of dubstep, the label world, if you will, and Virtual Riot uh, collabs for the most part with Disciple producers, so uh, not sure, but come on. Please. And ultimately, we have another from left field here. Not obvious, but another where I feel the styles would match so, so well. Leo Trix and ISO EXO. Both here are experts at crafting very memorable, catchy moments in compact backdrops. Uh, different genres for the most part, but both with a glowing, textured, infectious sound that really, really gets you. Very well structured music to get the best out of their main ideas and highlight them effectively. And I think the fact they do pretty different genres for the most part uh, would make it even more interesting. So yeah, I think these two brains working together would create something very impressive. Will happen because I think they're operating at quite a similar level within their own sub-scenes, if you will. Uh, they're aware of each other, I think, and it would be fucking cool. But wouldn't happen, I think, maybe because of logistical stuff and what they have planned already in the immediate future, especially at the earlier point in both of their careers. So, yeah, different places for both of them at the moment when they're trying to really build who they are individually, but yeah, who knows? And finally, a couple of very underrated producers in dubstep for me. No doubt, no question, and I think they would make a great team. Uh, surprised almost it hasn't happened already, Trinogy and Parne Muir. Two of, if not the most cartoonish, quirky, yet simultaneously uh, impactful dubstep styles at the moment for me. Each tune of theirs like a comic book, very animated and flavoursome, but also experimental and daring. A lot of freakish, unconventional synth usage, vocal samples as well, would be a really, really fun blend for sure. Uh, different backdrops as well to get a mix of both types of percussion from them in a tune would be sick, so all things considered, uh, let's have it. Will happen because it seems like another that has to be done, an opportunity too good to turn down, and they're in similar circles in the dubstep uh, scene, if you will. And won't happen because, well, I can't really think of a great reason. I mean, uh, scheduling, of course, and whether they could fit it in. Uh, but this is one that should definitely be put in motion. But there we have it, five more collaborations in bass music I would love to see that haven't happened already. I hope you enjoyed the video, thank you very much for watching. But what do you make of these potential collaborations? Would they work? What are some other collaborations you would love to see in the bass music world? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell along the way so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video to the channel. And my social media accounts are linked in the description box down below. And if you want to watch part one, then I will link it right here. But um, be uh, warned, I made it a year and a half ago, so the quality it's not as good. And lastly, if it's naughty, then you know, guys. So be sure, as always, to keep it naughty and stay safe. And I shall see all of you legends in the next one. More bass music collaborations I would love to see. Five more of them. Part two. Peace out. <laughs>